church kids, it's Miss Lily. I'm so excited that you are here today. What a special day. Church kids, if you want to be a part of our weekly digital parties, have your parents text digital party to 97,000. And at digital parties, we get to hang out with church kids leaders, other church kids, play super fun games, and watch an amazing message. We hope to see you there. Hey church kids, it's Mr. Damon, and I am so glad that I get to hang out with you today. Do you know how incredible you, yes you, are? You are so smart, like incredibly intelligent. You are strong, you are loved, you are amazingly good looking. Church kids, you are awesome. Add to that the fact that God has only made one you. There's no one else like you on the face of the planet. You are custom made. You are amazing. And that is why I am glad that I, yeah, this guy and cheeseburger eating otter get to be your friend because you're the best. Well, church kids, today we are continuing our series learning about flip, uh, flip, Philippians. No, flip, no, that's not it. Give me a second. Uh, <coughs> Philippians, that's right. Philippians, we're learning about the book of Philippians and what it says about who Jesus is. So let's go to it right now. In Philippians chapter two, Paul says, don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourself long enough to lend a helping hand. Whew, church kids, that was awesome. We're gonna get into that a little bit more, but you know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the question of the week. Question of the week is this. Have you ever been standing in a line at school? Of course you have. There's lines everywhere at school. There's lines to go out to recess. Then there's a line to come back to recess or from recess, there we go. There's a line sometimes to go to the bathroom. There's a line to go to lunch. There's a line to leave school. There's lines everywhere. And when you were standing in one of those billions of lines, have you ever watched someone cut to the front of the line? Church kids, have you ever seen somebody cut to the front of the line before? Now, when they cut, does everybody else behind them Go, oh, good job, Bill. Bill just cut, teacher. He did great. Three cheers for Bill, hooray. Bill, you're such a good line cutter. Come sign my forehead. Church kids, is that how everybody else reacts? No. They're like, Bill cut. Teacher, throw him off the edge of a cliff into a pool full of sharks and piranhas and tigers and fire and lava. Ah. We don't like it when we see somebody else cut in line. But be honest, have you ever cut in line before? Yeah, your secret's safe with me. I've cut in line so many times. The problem is, the reason we get angry when we see somebody else cut is because now all of a sudden, we feel like we're not going to be first. But do you know, church kids, that in God's kingdom, with Jesus as our best friend, God actually wants us to put others first and finish second. Now, Mr. Damon, what are you talking about? Are you saying that Jesus wants me to intentionally miss my last shot in my soccer game and fall into the giant mud puddle on purpose in order to let the other team win so we finish second? No, that's not what I'm saying. Mr. Damon, are you saying that at my dance competition, I should intentionally slip, fall on my back, roll off the stage, break both of my legs and my arms in order to let the other person get the big trophy? Is that it? Is that what God wants? No, please don't do that, okay? Do not fall off the stage, do not break limbs. When God says that he wants us to put others first and finish second, what he's talking about is how we treat other people. 
Listen to what Paul says in this letter that he wrote to the church of Jesus followers in the city of Philippi in the country of Greece. And he says this, he says, church kids, don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. You see, church kids, one of the things that God wants to show us about who he is and who we are is that God puts us first. When Jesus came to this earth, he could have been like, man, make, I'm the greatest, give me everything, I'm the Lord of all, and all of you guys are little squishy, squashy ants, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like he could have done that, but did he? No, he didn't take, Jesus gave. He didn't demand, Jesus was kind. He was constantly looking how he could help the people around him. Jesus put others first. And in the exact same way, when you and I, instead of trying to get what we want, give me, give me, give me, mine, 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 I want to be number one. Instead of living like most people in the world, when we ask ourselves, how can I help this person? How do I make them go? How do I let them go first? All of a sudden, we find out the second thing. And the second thing is this, is that when we put others first, we win. It's true. The Bible says in Philippians that Jesus humbled himself in obedience to God and died on the cross. Who, for who? Us. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor. Church kids, when Jesus put you and I first, God honored him, which means he like gave Jesus, gigantic, like, metaphorical trophy. He's like, you did it, you finished second place, you get the biggest trophy. And when you and I, instead of trying to take and grab and push others down so that we can be more important, instead, when we go, oh man, I'm gonna try and make other people important. I'm gonna find ways to let other, help others win and get ahead and do a great job. I wanna help and support. Do you know what actually winds up happening? God sees that just like he saw Jesus do it. And he goes, I love that. And he pours out so much blessing and peace and confidence and opportunities on you. When we give, God gives back to us so much more. When we put others first, we actually win. And God blesses us. I know it sounds backwards, doesn't it? But this week, I believe that the Holy Spirit is gonna help you. And when you're maybe standing in line at school and you wanna like, you know when you do this thing where you kinda like push the kid aside with your shoulder so you can get ahead in the better spot? Instead of doing that, what if we were like, I don't know, take my spot. Go ahead, go ahead. They're gonna be like, wait, what? Well, why are you doing this? I'm like, oh, go for it. I guarantee, not only will you make their day, you're gonna feel awesome. You're going to feel God's smile on you. Why? Because when we help others win, God blesses us. This is who we are. We win by helping others be first. What an amazing message. Church kids, if you want to be a part of our weekly digital parties, have your families text digital party to 97,000. We hope to see you there.